Hi folks, my name is Fred. Welcome to my shop. Something a little different today. This past fall my wife and I went antiquing and I came across this boiler and engine and water pump assembly, all parts, and I said, you know, I'm going to buy it and play with it, take it home, and uh, see what I can make out of it. My first foray into uh, live steam. Here's a result of the very first steam test. This is uncut, unedited, as you will see, and uh, it was relatively successful. Little single acting engine, well made. Uh, ball bearings in the main crank. Uh, made another flywheel, a little brass one there on the left to give it a little bit more momentum. That copper tube in the back is where the steam and oil exits kind of control the mess. Check this out. Yeah, that's my smoke alarm. Uh, it's right over the bench, and it works. So we took care of that. Running relatively smoothly. Uh, I had to do a lot of modifications and a lot of make a lot of fittings and knobs for this. It's currently running on st uh, Sterno, which is kind of a jelly uh, gasoline or ethanol. And this was a disaster. It ran great on air, as I say. We well, got to work on that. Hmm, got to work on that. We sure do. Uh, I got a feeling it's a little too close to the head of the boiler. Uh, you can see the sight glass on that boiler is relatively high, so that means the water's that high, which means the steam is just above it. So. I think it's a little too close to the level of the top of the water. It's got great patina, this engine. Uh, I wanted to do a, what they call a, a, a mild restoration on this. I wanted to retain the patina on it as much as possible. And uh, I think it was relatively over. successful. 45 50 minutes to build up steam the boiler holds just about two quarts of water pressure right now is about 30 pounds what I'm doing here is, is uh, this is just my cell phone uh, Run it up a little bit cell phone video and I was using it to document the first steam and to make notes myself like I say it's the first time I ever steamed anything bigger than a, a Willesco everybody's familiar with those that know steam the little tiny little tiny uh, models so this one's quite large and I think it could use a little bit more heat I don't know what it what the boiler ran initially it, it might have been coal actually it was quite dirty on the inside the boiler I had to clean out the tubes it's a fire tube boiler and that the fire goes up through tubes through the center. I think there's uh, 16 tubes in it. It's really, really well-made boiler. I uh, hydro tested it up to 150 pounds. And that's only because that's all I could pressurize it with. But here I'm trying to identify leaks. A leak right here. So that I could go back later and uh, fix them. It was a fun project. It really was. Right now it's on a, a base that's uh, experimental. Just to work out the kinks. And right here I think comes the finished product. Uh, I may put some brass banding around the edge. But it was a great products project. A couple of finished pictures. Thanks for watching and have a great day.